Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Orbital Potato Automobiles and Recreational Sports Cars, where the sports cars are terrible and the management is even worse, actually. Uh, let's stick it immediately into fast forward because we're waiting for a couple of milestones, uh, the most important of which is the Gullwing Doors, which I'm super, super excited uh, to roll out across the entirety of our line. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be fantastic, and I hope that uh, my competitors aren't going to introduce their own gullwing doors for at least five minutes, so that I can have uh, a, a nice a nice corner of the market reserved solely for me. Uh, anyway, yes, so that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for uh, the design studios to finish up with their uh, vehicle designing. Uh, we also want to probably think about. Uh, Increasing the amount of uh, production that we have production capability. I'm very very much hoping in this episode that we're going to be able to roll out uh, a luxury a luxury sports car a, lux uh, a luxury supercar a luxury SUV Yeah, I think that's I think that's what we want to do. We want to make the highest of the high-end cars I don't want to say that our financial crisis has been uh, Completely averted, but I mean I feel like we're on to the next chapter uh, in uh, in history and the next chapter being uh, Being being the the actual doors that we all signed up to to play with uh, Anyway, I seem to have detected a slight problem and that problem is The amount of stuff that we have coming in here Yeah, that uh, that ain't that ain't super swell and I know that even can't even really change it because of the the layout of the conveyor system. There's no there's nowhere else in here that we can. Well, there are some areas over there. It would cost us another five grand per hour in order to get access to that area. Yeah, that's a little bit of a little bit of an irritation. I don't really want to place another another line, but I I fear that I may have to. Okay, let's go for a little bit of a redesign over here. So first things first, let's. Demolish, uh, what is it? Hold shift to delete resource conveyors. Yeah, so delete that resource conveyor there, that one there. Uh, and those there. Perfect. Now let's go and have a little look at what our conveyor system is like. Right, resource importer for you, resource importer for you as well. That's quite a lot of money that we're putting into resource importers, but it's really going to speed things up dramatically, I suspect. Right, this is going to come down through there. It's perfect. That doesn't link up. Great. Uh, it doesn't link up, but apparently it does, so that kind of sucks, but that's okay. Let's go demolish, and we'll get rid of that stuff. That stuff too. And then that can be linked up over there. Alright. I am getting there. Just bear with. Bear with, folks. Right, good, good. One more, perfect. All right, so we've got an exclusive line down the middle, which is probably going to deal with, I guess, stuff past here. So let's take a little, yep. And let's, uh, let's go back, let's go back this way. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty darn good. I mean, it does take us frightfully close, I must say, to, uh, takes us frightfully close to the edge of our, of our budget. Uh, it gives us only 133,000 bucks of breathing room. However, it does mean, hopefully, that, uh, that the division of, uh, resource importing will work slightly better. Next slot not found. Oh, yes, I've, uh, I've done a silly thing. There we go. All right, that should be rectified now. Already it looks like we're having a, a pretty, a pretty big impact. I'm hoping that the amount of paint that we, uh, that we're currently using will be reduced relatively soon. Because once the paint is, is here, it's, it's generally sticking around for quite a while. Uh, keyless entry, let's get that upgraded. Keyless entry, let's make that standard on every option going forward. Right, 
I do need to sell some cars. I, uh, I'm keen to sell some cars as swiftly as possible. Right. 87,000. I don't want to take any loans. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to even countenance that idea. If I do have to take a loan, I want to take as short a loan as possible. That is a little bit scary. So let's not think about it. Let's pretend that it's not happening and hope that we get another couple of cars through the, uh, through the door first so that we can, so that we can at least, at least get above, uh, 200,000. Right, stick that in two times speed. Hope for a couple of car sales. I do want to get my uh, my media team back on the job, but my media team, uh, I mean, they disappointed me big time. And now I don't have enough money to employ them. The brightest brains in Britain. Right there. And uh, they're currently not doing anything, apart from thinking up uh, an arbitrary number of ideas. Still no car. Still no car sales. Really? Right. What is the discount for universal features? Let's, let's discount that further. See if maybe we can get something. Oh my god. Oh my lordy. Okay, we got we got one. We got one. All right. Well, that's something at least. We did need to pump the the discount uh, the discount amount up a little bit, but that's that's okay. It worked all right in the end, I guess. Worked out all right in the end. That's fine. As long as we can as long as we can get our gullwing doors in good time, I suspect that I will not have any issues with my finances. There we go. Look at that. We sold a brand new we sold a brand new car. Problem is that it takes such a long time for us to to roll out the features. Uh, we're 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 doing so much research all the time and uh, we're constantly introducing new features to the cars. And that is in fact uh, hurting us because it means that we're we're constantly selling discounted cars. Right, take that right the way back again. We're no longer in a super, super dodgy financial position, but hey-ho. Also, I notice quite a lot of defective cars coming through. Uh, whilst it's kind of nice that we have a slightly lower uh, tier of car to sell to people who, who want that kind of thing, it's a little bit of a bummer that we're, uh, that we're losing money, basically. So let's try and get... Let's try and get what we're looking for. Where is it? It's, uh, maintenance department. No, not maintenance department, not preventative maintenance. QA specialization. Let's get enhanced inspection and extended inspection checklists. Get that all researched up so that we don't have to worry about uh, faulty cars. Let's also check out our car design at the moment. We're at 88% or gullwing doors. We're about to get the very best doors in the business. We've got one loan that we can uh, that we can take out, and that will that will be for seven days at a rate of seven point seven nine percent. Oh my goodness gracious me! I think wages are only paid on the hour, so unless we sell a car before eight p.m., it's probably worth us taking out. There we go. It's probably worth us taking out a loan in order to get. Oh come on. Really? No one is remotely interested in... No one's interested in taking it alone? Alright, oh, well, uh, I guess, I guess, honestly, I guess we take out, I guess we take out this loan. I think we do. I think we do. The reason that I think that we do is because this gives us a better this gives us a better rate than the the bankruptcy loan with which we're uh, with which we're going to be offered. All right, so we'll take that begrudgingly. I I would hasten to add I'm going to buy this area. Uh, and why was I going to buy this area? Not really for any massively important particular reason. I just thought I needed to buy it, but apparently I am so unbelievably wrong that I don't even want to think about how wrong I am. Uh, yeah, that was pretty stupid actually in in retrospect, but that's okay. Businesses make you know stupid decisions all the time, and and they even sometimes succeed. Okay, fine. 
I don't even know why I don't even know why why I bought it because it doesn't even give us any more green space and I and I want green space I want uh, green space to research right no oh 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 the video game did not like that well that's uh that's our first crash I tried to delete the uh I tried to delete, I tried to delete the, uh, the research facility and that didn't end up working out for us. Alright, well we're back, we're back here, let's just sort of pretend that that never happened. Right, let's, uh, try and do this for real this time. And then let's actually do, uh, what is it? It's Design Studio, yeah, $205,000. Okay, so now, back in this alternate reality, I say this is the alternate reality. This is now the actual reality. Uh, this is before everything stopped working. So at the moment, all of the resource importing is going fantastically. Let's, you know, let's try and avert this resource importing nonsense uh, issue. Let's try and get faster resource importers, shall we? Research now, add to queue. Yeah. Sure. Let's do that in the vain hope that maybe we can stave off the problem. At least for a little bit longer. That means that we won't have to spend all of that money reconfiguring the uh, the the belt. It also means that we're not going to reconfigure cars and therefore uh, artificially devalue them. I say artificially devalue them. I don't actually mean that. I mean devalue cars quicker than what they should be uh, devaluing in my showroom. Gullwing doors, they are coming on. Come on, just just give me the gullwing doors. Give me the gullwing doors and I will be a happy, happy chappy. Yeah, this ain't this ain't great. Ain't the best. Not gonna lie. But I tell you what, as soon as we get our next type of car, we are gonna be we are gonna be sorted. Man, give me a small loan. What I just I want a small loan, maybe like a small five hundred thousand dollar small loan of a million dollars, maybe tide me over until I uh, until I until I get my fledgling car business back on uh, back on terra firma, for want of a better term. And you really, with that term, you really have to want for something better, because that was uh, an abhorrent brutalization. Of, uh, of the English language. I'm personally disappointed in myself. But that's okay. I can be personally satisfied that my uh, that my gameplay has not let me down. Because the game let me down first. And therefore, uh, me letting myself down doesn't actually count for anything. Okay. I don't know if it's maybe just that customers are not buying cars. Because they know that I'm about to introduce a wildly popular Gullwing model. I don't have the money for that. All right. Every single car is going to have gullwing doors. In fact, no, it's not. Only the sedan three is going to have gullwing doors. And then let's immediately follow that up with. Let's try and get a scissor doors. I don't want scissor doors. Not quite yet. Let's get a sports body. In fact, no, let's not. Let's get an SUV body. Do the do the gullwing doors fit on, uh, fit on an SUV? They don't. The gullwing doors only fit on sedans and supercars. Not on sports cars. Or vans, actually. I, I'm surprised at that one. I'm surprised. Very, very surprised at that one. Okay, so we could try and get a supercar straight up, but the problem is that a sports body is going to take a heck of a long time. I'm thinking maybe we start producing a luxury SUV in the meantime, even though it doesn't give us the, the doors that we need. Okay. Upgrade missing the gullwing doors. Can I just make a, a note at how much it costs in order to... That's 122000 That's big money. It's 122000 and I spent it. I bought it. I'm the idiot here. I am the idiot here. All right. But apart from that, everything looks quite good. Our mistake was was rectified, which is great. I didn't mean to buy that area, but I did out of, I don't know, pure zealous ambition. Pure pure zealous ambition. My goodness, I am butchering. I am butchering the English language in a word that in a word. 
uh, in a way that I, I, I truthfully have, uh, have, have never done before. Are we selling any cars without discounts? One car without discounts. Well, that is fine, I guess. Electric windows. Okay, there's a bunch of cars that are just not not selling for whatever reason. That's an absolute bargain. Look, it's only 52,000. Only 52,000 that you're paying. That's totally fine. All right, I'm actually reasonably hopeful that uh I'm reasonably I'm just reasonably I'm just reasonably hopeful. What can I say? We're almost bringing out our SUV. Expenses are well, substantial. And we need to sell at least one car every hour in order to stay afloat because we are that close, that close to going bankrupt. But it's okay because we seem to be just about hitting that milestone. I must say, however, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. But it's actually controlling the amount of vehicles that we uh, that we're able to produce quite uh, quite nicely, actually. If it if it if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know what they say. I do you need to sell another car soon, though? That is quite uh, quite literally the Im the imperative. The imperative thing that I must do. All right, beautiful. Cars with defects are going are going first. I do actually want to to re add QA to the. Uh, yeah, I'll add QA to the research list here. I'll take uh, enhanced inspection as well. Pick that up. Plonk that down there. Yeah, I think that's fine. And I'll also get rework defects. Perfect. Research centers. Do not need research centers at the moment. I can barely afford my research offices. And my brains of Britain in the marketing departments. Alright. Also, when I get import priorities, that is gonna... I mean, that's an upgrade and I shouldn't probably do that first. Let me do... Let me do faster resource imports. Yeah. And then let me get faster conveyors overhead. And then we'll go we'll go for the uh, for the import priorities because import priorities is an upgrade which can which you can get on most things I think. At least I am almost certain that import priorities is something that uh, that can be done. By the way, have we got? Oh my goodness! Look at the gullwing doors. Look at the gullwing doors. Have we have we completed a gullwing door car yet? <gasps> We've got one. We got one coming through. That is very very cool. I like how you can see the the, the doors. Our first car is coming through in in classic uh, British car manufacturing style. It's it comes complete with two defects. And this is now the point where most people say, wow, only two defects? That sounds like a like a steal. That sounds like a great opportunity. Uh, no one's bought it yet. No one has bought it. The gullwing doors actually are valued at $39,000. Wowzers. Right, well. That is very, very good. Insufficient features on the... The, the car with the gullwing doors. I mean, I don't think you buy a car with gullwing doors for the features. You buy it for the street credibility and the swag factor. Whatever the heck that is. Uh, if I had to venture a guess, it would be uh, the, the value that an individual assigns to their life based on how much swag they have. The swag factor for you folks. Right, faster resource imports. We're so close. We're so close to hitting it. We're also pretty darn close to getting an SUV, which is going to be a lovely all-round SUV for us. And that should really, really help. It'll also take some sort of monotony out of the uh, the production process, at least. The sedan production process, that is. An SUV, I think the, uh, the luxury SUV market is 1.14. Same as the sedan luxury market as well. Perfect. Sports luxury. Right. We don't want a luxury pickup, but SUV luxury and supercar luxury. You can literally only get a luxury supercar. Fine with me. 
I mean, we are going to get a supercar. It's maybe not next on the list. In fact, I know it's not next on the list because we need to get a sports car. That's uh, that's next on the list. Okay, faster uh, resource importation. I don't know if that's a word, but it probably probably is now, I guess. SUV body. Okay, that's that's real big for us. Let's start doing... Let's start doing the sports car. I know this is going to take a heck of a long time. I know this is going to take a heck of a long time, but it's going to be worth it. It's going to absolutely be worth it. Okay, and after that, let's go and for the first time in what feels like forever, let's bring out a new car. Let's, I'm not going to type out the Obita Potato Automobiles and Recreational Sports Cars, unless I can copy and paste. If I can copy and paste, then that's, I can't copy and paste. So that's not going to happen. Uh, so, I mean, we've, we've called that the Apollo. I feel that we should call this one like the, the Moonraker, you know, after my favorite James Bond film, actually. The Moonraker 1. I mean, it just looks like it's, it's built to drive on the moon. Also... Anyone that says Moonraker isn't the best James Bond film, come at me, bro. It's far and away the best James Bond film. And honestly, not even close. Right, sunroof. Right, I'm going to lose money on this. Not a chance. Not a stinking chance. 180k, that seems absolutely exceptional. 81% profit. Don't mind if I do. Baby, baby blue, baby sky blue. The Moonraker one is going to enter production. Uh, we're going to... We're going to... Make two of them? Sure. Let's do it. Let's, let's watch it happen. I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited to see it to see it in action. I'm excited to see it work. Uh, also, the production line at the moment. I don't think that we need to expand it. I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think it's actually too overworked, too underworked at the moment. I think it's right in the middle, right where we want it at the moment. Uh, we're getting just enough cars through that we can keep a, a little a little number in the showroom before they're sold, and we're also. We don't, you know, we're we're not completely backlogged with uh, with chassis on the uh, on the production line. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the balance that we've that we've currently struck. The only thing is maybe increasing. Hold on, import priorities. No, maybe I'm just going. Maybe I'm just going. Uh, going a little bit cuckoo. Not sure why that's. Not as I how uh, how I remember it, but that's all right. That's fine. Uh, anyway, the the point that I was trying to make there is that maybe we should get some more chassis stuff. The point is that even if we were to get some more, you know, some more fit body stations, or even if we were to break down the current fit body station into the substations, fit body shell, etc. Not confident that that's really what we want to do. I think that we need to dedicate a brand new area of the factory in order to make this happen. And I think this area of the factory, or even this area of the factory, would probably be pretty ideal for that. But, uh... Yeah. The good thing about getting this area is that we would be able to get a brand new resource importer, which is what we kind of need for this area. This is quite a... It's quite a resource-intensive area. So it would definitely be nice to do. And we're absolutely not holding our own over here and that displeases me anyway let's talk about SUVs are we are we getting an SUV coming through at any point no it doesn't look like it they will be around somewhere but we need to we need to find them we're producing them often enough as well which is which is grand yeah this is this is this is not a system to last I think we want to probably try and uh, address this system in a way in which we addressed the last time 
it was a bit of a problem. Why did it? Why did that move out of there? I, I had uh, I was I was pressing the button that I was instructed to press. Video game. Right. There we go. Remove that, and now we get a resource conveyor, and we go right up the middle. And let's keep going over here. Right. It's going to cost a heck of a lot of money. Going to be worth it, though. All right. There we go. Get that in place over there. And... Now we just need to get a resource importer right over here. And let's link this up. I think we'll just link them both up for now. Yeah, we'll link both these areas up for now, but we can um, we can change that as we go. Let's see if that gives a slightly better distribution of, uh, of imports. No, it doesn't even look like it does. Right, we've still got a backlog here. Are we ever going to manage to get through the backlog? It looks indeed like we are. Okay, that's great. Well, as long as we're getting through the backlog, then that's what I care about. That's the, the, the most important thing. Uh, I, can, I can rest easy. Right, we've got far too many defects. No one's buying my super special... My super special cars. Oh, that's the first SUV. Already, it has a bunch of uninstalled features. How is that even possible? How is that even possible? I thought I... I thought I gave it the best of the best. I did give it the best of the best. So how did... How did that one manage to get into the... How did that one manage to get into the showroom without having a full complement of features? I will truly never know. That's very strange. Very, very strange. Are these cars being fitted properly? Well, I gotta make I gotta make sure. I gotta make sure that this is going well. Uh, they're fitting the roof. Oh, hold up. If uh, if the roof is, oh no. If the roof is fitted over here, then it turns out that the sunroof... It turns out that they just don't get the sunroof. Well, that that sucks That sucks pretty darn hard, actually. So you gotta go through through this channel in order to get the, uh, the sunroof. Alright. Well, I, I must apologize to, uh, to the customers who were, who were looking to buy the SUV with the sunroof. Instead, buy it with a defect. Only one defect. We pride ourselves in having a very, very reasonable number of defects. Okay, uh, we do really need to, to redo this area. But the problem is that I'm apprehensive to do that before I get the sports car. Uh, before I get the sports car added to the roster. If I can get the sports car added to the roster, then I think that I... Then that would justify uh, 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 an upgrade of production. Because at the moment, we're not really splitting production as evenly as we should be. I mean, if we have a little look here, you can see... Hold on. Yeah, if you have a little look here, you can see that our total hourly production of these cars is, is far too high. We need to get at least another... We need to get at least another uh, another type of car before expanding the production line substantially. We're almost there. It's just a bit of a, a bit of a juicy one, really. Right. I think I want to... I want to take this area offline. I'm going to take this uh, this fit body area offline. And in fact, I might hire this area. Right, you're going to go down there. And then let's get rid of that bit. Perfect. So that will funnel all of the traffic down one specific route. Which is great. Tell you what. 
even if we were to move this fit body frame to this area after the fit body is gone, that might result in something that's not completely horrific. Let's get rid of that fit body area. Yep, that's, uh, that's a pretty good amount of money. Get rid of that. Uh, there's no route to the stockpile. That's somewhat of a problem. Let's rectify that immediately. That's fine. Uh, also, let's get a bit of research done. We'll get the fit body research, the research that will allow us to do the uh, fit body sub stuff, body frame specialization. That is indeed what it's called. That's what I was looking for. Uh, I think we'll also need to get bumper specialization because I think that that fits in the, the fit body frame area. Yep, and arch specialization as well. Okay, so the plan at the moment is to move the fit body frame section directly in front of the, sh the chassis section. In fact, you know what? I think I can actually... I think I can actually do it right now. Yeah, so fit body shell. That'll take three minutes. That takes two minutes. Perfect. So fit body shell can go... right over... Here. Okay, apparently I can't place that down until stuff is gone. But the point is that I'm planning to put it right here. And then fit the hood straight after. Fit the trunk straight after. Fit the front bumper straight after. Rear bumper straight after over here. Uh, fit bottom trim right there. Fit the arches straight after that, uh, and fit the air vent straight after that, and then we'll just lead a, a belt back down this way over to the to the fit roof section. Yeah, we're gonna be a little bit pressed for space, but I kind of think that we might just have enough of it. That might just be that might just be an over exaggeration, an over exaggeration. Goodness gracious me! That's what I'm banking on. I'm banking on an over exaggeration. Okay, let's go about changing this just slightly. Yep. Just so that we can start cutting back uh, on our space. Also, we're going to have to change this belt to go out this way. There we go. You're going to go around that way instead of this way. The reason that we're going to do that is because I need the space. Right. Great. It's looking good. Looking absolutely perfect. So this is going to be the area with which we put the fit body frame in. And oh my goodness gracious me, we are actually, we are actually making money. And it feels, it feels kind of weird. It feels kind of weird, but in a very, very nice way. Uh, the problem is, is that it's going to take a heck of a lot more than a half a million, a half a million bucks to make this work. Or is it? Or is it? Maybe I'm just speaking out of turn. It looks indeed like I am. Wouldn't be the first time. Probably won't be the last time. Right, we're gonna have to ditch one of these uh, one of these chassis. However, right, fit body frame, fit body shell. So that's gonna slot in right there. So let's delete that bit. Then let's go over to the blueprint and let's uh, let's look at doing this all this all up. Okay, everything's gonna work on a three minute base time. I don't really care about the extra sort of half second in there, half minute or whatever. Okay, fit the trunk. Sure. Uh, fit bumpers. This is going to be, this is going to be dodgy. I mean, we could do a front bumper and a back bumper. Maybe that's fine. Uh, then fit the bottom trim. Sure. Let's go for that. And then fit the arches. Oh, this is, this is not going to work, is it? This is not going to work. Okay. I mean, this wouldn't have worked anyway because we need to keep this 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 area free for a belt. 
Although, we're going to be able to get rid of this. We're going to be able to get rid of the fit body frame. Absolutely going to ditch that. Okay, let me plan out the belt first. So the belt is going to need to go up this way. Cool. So, what's after fit hood? Fit trunk? Okay. After fit trunk, it's fit bumpers. We're just keeping it simple. One fit bumpers. One fit bottom trim. Oh, that's going to work. That is going to definitely work. Okay. Fit bottom trim. We got fit arches. Or we do the fit front arch. And fit rear arch. It is actually slightly better to do fit front than fit rear. Just in terms of shape and whatnot. And then the fit vent. And that can go there. Oh my god. Is that everything? Ditch that for now and just stick it down as as one big one. Sure. Okay, so we've got the fit body shell. Yep. Fit hood. Yep. Fit trunk. Yep. Fit bumpers. Yep. Fit bottom trim. Yep. Fit arches. Yep. Fit vent. Yep. 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 Unbelievable. <laughs> I simply do not believe it. And it looks like, unbeknownst to even me, it's going to work in a smaller space than I originally anticipated. That's got to be one of the finest... That's got to be one of the finest uh, achievements that I've had. 131k to get this uh, to get this area bought. Right now, I need to get I need to get front arch and rear arch. In fact, do I do I need to get that? If I switch on over to blueprints, I don't even need to get anything. All right, let's um let's buy it. Let's immediately do it. Let's uh let's get that placed. Right. And. That goes over there. Right, connective resource conveyors. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay. That is remarkably simple. Okay, let's see how that goes. We've still got the uh, the last few chassis going through the uh, the old fit body frame system. But we're going to get rid of that pretty darn soon. The sports vehicle. Oh boy, oh boy, that's fantastic. Let's get a supercar because heck yes, I'd like a supercar, please. How cool is it? Uh, how cool is it going to be saying that, hey, yeah, don't worry. I just, I make sports cars. It's going to be so great. Right. So we've had, we've had the Moonraker. We've had Apollo. I feel that we got to have the Mars, you know, we got to have the Mars, the Mars one, the next space in, uh, human space engineering and exploration and all that good stuff. Right, solid roof and a sunroof. A budget sports car apparently will makes a gross profit of 20%. I'll believe it when I see it, truthfully. Uh, let's bump let's bump the price as high as we possibly can. Purple Pros. Must say, I don't particularly like that name for a color, but, you know, it's fine. Right. Two of those bad boys. All right. This is great. Okay, so one car an hour, one car an hour, one car an hour, and 1.2 cars, basically. Okay, so we're, we're, we're hitting pretty close to the... Uh, hitting pretty close to the recommended amount. All right. I've... Got to be honest, this is looking this is looking good. Our financial situation as well is not terrible. Uh, I'm gonna hold hold out reconnecting this line because, as I say, obviously the fit body frame is gonna be uh, is going to be readjusted in just a second. Look at how many cars we're gonna be able to put through now as well. Oh, this is glorious. So after this, after we get this uh, this sort of area polished up, 
I'd like to maybe take a little bit of time to have a look at how we can optimize our factory. Because waiting for the next vehicle at the moment, our, our optimization at the moment is, I mean, it's terrible. It is downright dreadful. Right, fit body frame, let's remove the fit body frame section and let's go nice and succinctly right over there. Nice. Fantastic. Literally as easy as that. And now every every area is going to have a uh, is is going to be passing through the fit roof section, which has got the uh, the sunroof upgrade, which means that we're no longer going to be producing cars, which are immediately terrible, or immediately devalued. Also, hold up. Did I put the gullwing? Did I put the gullwing doors on the sports vehicle? I very very much hope that I did. Also, the next thing that we want to fix is, uh, is quality control. Uh, also, rare, very rare. Seems like the features that I've got in these cars don't particularly matter. Right. How is it unbelievably that the component cost of the gullwing doors is... is less than less than the the one that doesn't have the gullwing doors i'll i'll never know okay how are we doing resource importing wise we're doing very very good i'm very very happy everything is looking perfect the next part or the next part of the mission or this mission anyway will be changing the fit roof section right we got a heck of a lot of door panels this could do with uh, this could do with, this could do with a stockpile. This could definitely do with a stockpile. Factory wide import settings. Ooh, that's cool. Didn't know that was a thing that could uh, could be done. But all right, that's that's looking good. Anyway, the the next mission is is uh, is quality is QA specialization and fixing the defects. That's, that's quite important actually. Because at the moment I've got a heck of a lot of cars going into the going into the sales room with defects. And that just ain't that just ain't cricket, old pal. That just ain't good. However, things are holding steady. Happy to report that uh, everything is looking remarkably good. It does indeed look like we've cleared that backlog. In fact, we've cleared that backlog so unbelievably efficiently that maybe it's time for us to redo uh, chassis assembly. Chassis assembly gives us another vehicle every 13 minutes. I don't really think that we need any more vehicles than that. I think one one luxury car an hour is probably fine. However, it's, it's good to know that we've got the opportunity to do that if and when we need to. Come on, I just need QA specialization to be done. In fact, maybe I need it done so much that I'm willing to pay for a research office. I think I am indeed willing to pay for two research offices. Which will just help, uh, help smooth the transition just that little bit more. Also, I still wish I could put doors on the... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What? What? Are you telling me that I can't put gullwing doors on this sports body? Can I only put it on... What? 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 I... Doors are definitely an option, right? The gullwing doors, it's a roof modification. It's it's not it's not possible. What if what if it's a solid roof? It's just not possible. Oh my goodness. Uh it says that it's possible for sports cars, but apparently it's not possible for all sports cars, I guess. Alright, so that's why we that's why we don't have gullwing doors. Well I'm sorry to all of the customers who wanted uh, an actual sports car with gullwing doors. You're gonna have to wait until the supercar comes out. Which is in itself a modification of the sports car, I believe. 
All right, but the op open top, the so the supercar is a completely different type of car, but the open top is a modification on the sports body, I guess. Also, I'd love to invest this money in the stock market. I mean, I know that, I mean, if you're investing this money in the stock market, you're not really playing a, you know, a car production game anymore. You're playing a, you know, a stock market up and down simulation game. But that'd be pretty cool if you could bank this money and collect interest on it. That would at least be, uh, you know, a way that I could, I could at least win this game. Speaking of, though, I'm not doing half badly, all things considered. This is probably the best that things have ever actually been. In fact, so good, in fact, that maybe we can think about getting rid of this, uh, this chassis assemble area. Part of me, part of me really wants to do it. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty darn keen. Right, let's have a little look. Let's have a little look, see if we can, see if we can make it happen. Okay, uh, fit front axle, fit, fit, uh, fit back axle. Oh, we don't have that yet, that's fine. Okay, let's just do fit axles for now. And fit the drive shaft. Yeah, we can actually replace the fit front axle and then the fit... Yeah, we can replace that. Anyway, fit drive shaft, then fit the undercarriage. And then fit the fuel tank. Yeah? Should we give it a shot? I mean, this may not be the wisest idea I've ever had. But we're going to need to do it at some point, right? Let's give it a crack. Let's absolute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, stuff started floating away. I got a little bit spooked. It's all good. Okay, fit axles. Let's do it. Let's do it in the blueprint. Let's do it in the blueprint area. Hold on. Shouldn't be fitting that. I need to be just fitting the undercarriage. Yep. We can actually have two fit axle stations, but I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, that will allow us space for Bish Bash Bosh, which will speed things up in the future. As in, we'll be able to replace fit axles if I leave a space here. We can... Uh, we can get it down to speed there. Make fuel tank. I don't need to make fuel tanks at the moment. Thanks, video game. That's a kind gesture. And I guess we can just stick that there. I ideally would like to get another fit fuel tank section, but I don't think that I'll have the capability to do that. Tell you what, I actually would. I actually would if I ditch this. Right, ditch that for a second. And stick that there. Yeah. Alright. Buy that. Swap back over. Let's reconnect the chaos. Hold up. Apparently, you're not liking that. Fine. Great. All right, not liking any of this nonsense. Let me try again. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, let's connect all of this up. So we want that to go in there. And then also to come along here, and also to come along... Okay, no, apparently you're not liking that. See, if you've already set the way that a conveyor is supposed to go, then it just doesn't like being modified in the future. It just doesn't like it. Okay, and we'll connect you up there, you up there. Right, perfect. Wait for resources, and then let's watch that go. Uh, I think maybe it's time to retire the uh, sedan one and the sedan two and the sedan three. Well, no, sorry. I mean, keep the sedan three because that's the only one that actually matters. All right, keep the sedan three. Let's get two Mars. 
and two Moonraker as well. That's three cars per hour. I mean, that does seem somewhat overkill. But I guess we'll see. I guess we shall, uh, we shall indeed see. This area straight up looks like it's going to be a problem. Uh, and the problem is, is that it's waiting for resources. All right, so that's, that's fun, I guess. I love it when buildings have to wait for resources, but that's fine. Also, 41 cars, 41 cars just, uh, it, it ain't cricket. In fact, that's really not good. Really very, very not good, but that's fine. Supercar as well. Once we got a, a luxury supercar, that's going to be great. But to be honest, we just want to hit every single luxury car possible. Already, it seems that we've uh, we've managed to divvy ourselves out quite a nice little niche in the luxury market. And that niche is, of course, uh, producing substandard cars in comparison to all of my competitors. But I tell you what, it seems to be working. And what with this new uh, with this new production capacity, it should help us make even more cars into the future. Maybe I'd even think about making some luxury compact cars. It does sound like heresy, but we might be able to do it. Also, if I do buy this area, it will now totally be worth it. Oh, goodness gracious me. It'll be worth it just because. Oh, the fit break stuff is is this is this is torpedoing us. Uh, let's get a can't get a mini supply stockpile. Apparently, we've only we only know how to make big supply stockpiles, but not not mini ones. Okay, copy from uh, fit breaks. Yeah, let's make. In fact, let's just let's just get that. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, in the vain hope that that makes somewhat of a difference. There we go. All right, let's adjust this slightly. Bring down the total stock that we keep for that and increase the stock, total, total, stock, uh, total stock of servos that we keep. Because it seems like servos are the, uh, are the main problem here. All right, that should speed things up slightly. All right, that looks like it's that looks like it's working a, an actual charm. Imports are steadily, steadily being solved, but uh, not. Ooh, didn't even realize. Uh, yeah, imports are, are not looking too bad. Uh, there's a little bit of a backlog, but I think that that is a deal withable problem. What's well, not a deal withable problem is the fact that we've got 54 cars in the showroom at the moment. And none of them appear to be selling. So you know that whole thing that I did when I upgraded our production capability and our production capacity? That was apparently all for nothing. However, I must say, this is a mighty fine looking factory and everything seems to be working pretty darn well. Uh, if we have a little look at our efficiency over the past, I mean, just even the past episode, even the past half episode, that is a massive, massive increase. We're almost to 40%. We're at 35% machines running at the moment. And I feel that I feel that we're gonna we're really gonna improve in the next uh, in the next episode. I feel that we are close to We're close. We're very, very close to hitting exactly where I'd like to be. A few more a few more specialist cars. And we're going to be golden. We're going to be absolutely, absolutely spot on golden. Right, okay. Resource resource importing is starting to be a little bit of a hindrance. But that's okay. If it does actually slow down production, it doesn't really matter. Because we've got 62 cars in the showroom anyway. And therefore, I can afford, I can afford to take it a little bit easy. That's a supercar and that is fantastic news. Do I just get, like, luxury everything? I think maybe I get luxury everything. I did say that I wanted to do only the Gullwing stuff, but, uh, I mean, 
the more luxury stuff we get, the, the easier it is to, to do the maths on how we make money. So let's do that. Let's go and create a brand new supercar. Let's retire, archive this model. Yeah, archive this model. And you know what? Let's shorten this right the way back down to the sedan three. There we go. Now, now we can actually see the type of cars. Ooh, that is a that is a wonderful Regency red. That is a delightful car. I must say, the car looks. It's. I mean, the car looks awful. That this this is a ugly car. If I was, if I was paying a hundred, how much are we paying? One hundred ninety. One hundred ninety k. I mean, put it this way, I wouldn't pay 100, 190k for a car that looks like this. Let me be, let me be brutally honest. Right, in-car music, pollen filter, sure. Solid roof, gull wing doors. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe I would pay 190k just for the gull wing doors. All right, so we got the Mars. Um, I don't know what came over me. It just, it just happened. It just happened. I mean, it's it's a uh, you know it's a it's a mythological, it's a uh, you know Roman god of uh, something. I don't know what it's the god of. Uh, you know, it's one of the planets, right? That's my excuse anyway. Okay, visual inf inspection, performance check, and an emissions check. All of those things are great. However, not much use if uh, we can't deploy them with the with the fix fix issue stand, whatever the heck it's called. What is it called? Rework, fixing defects. Yeah. I don't really care about identifying the defects if I can't figure out what the problem is. Right, this is also another issue where we're not having very much success importing uh, doors very, very quickly. That is somewhat of an annoyance. Well, I don't think that we're going to be able to get any more resources any more quickly. But it's fine, though. I mean, if we're making money, we're making money. 73 cars in the stockpile, and almost all of them have defects. Or, uh, all of them... Yeah, they've all got defects. That's a 55% discount that they're getting. And they're still not selling. They're not shifting. Yeah, we really, we really, really need to fix that. The problem that we're going to have, though, is that where the heck are we going to put these things? Right, so we've got a visual inspection. I mean, we are limited in space here. That is, in fact, the whole point of the playthrough. So we got the visual inspection, which takes a little bit of time. We got the performance check, which is also going to take a little bit of time. We got the emissions check, and then it's going to go to the to the defect fixing situation. Uh, I don't even know if we have. I don't even think we have the space over here. Oh no! Disaster. Uh, let's see if we can perhaps move around these. Can I move these electrical components? Fit the electrical components. Can I move them over here instead? Might not actually be the worst idea in the world. Right. I think that we can make this work. I think that we can make this work. I... I just need the, the, the defects thing to come online, or the fixing defects thing, and then we're going to be absolutely perfect. Also, our money is back. It's better than ever. It's great. Uh, we should be making supercars. At this rate, it's going to take a little while for, uh, for those supercars to arrive in the sales room. That's not the supercar. Hold on. Have I actually added it to the production? I don't think I have. There we go. I've now added it to production, and we should start to see it imminently. Oh my goodness, we're on our way to a million bucks. Okay, 
great news. That's looking good. Let's uh, shift this out of the way in anticipation for moving this. There's no way that I can... Right, it's fine. Okay. And then fit computer. That could fit over here. No, that's a lie. It can't fit over there. It can fit there, though. Let's make that happen. And then I think that that'll give us more than enough space. Ample room, as they say, to do all of the quality checking that we need to do. Right, before I commit to this, let's buy... Uh, uh, let's do it in blueprint mode. Right, performance check. Emissions check. Mm, it's going to be real tight. Hold up. Okay, we can make this work. Right, we can definitely make this work. Okay, we got loads of space over here. I don't even know what I was worried about. All right, go back into slots uh, slots and blue blueprints. Let's move this down that way. This down that way. Let's get a conveyor up and over there. Perfect. And then visual inspection. Performance check. Emissions check. Right there. Delete this. I don't know if there's a car on here, so I'm not going to faff around with that too much. Oh, no, the reworking thing is a different shape to what I anticipated. Uh, that's a... That puts us in a little bit of uh, hot, annoying nonsense. It's the most awkward shape. It's the most awkward shape. All right. Oh, we are blooming close to making this work, though. Right, ditch that. Get a visual inspection. Right there. Sure, that will basically work. Emissions check. Rework the defects. That will work. Okay. Okay, so this is going to come across here. Hold up. Ditch this. I don't know if it's a car there. Don't particularly care at the moment. All right. How much is this going to cost us? It's going to cost us 70, 72 grand. That's not actually that much. All right. Let's swap back over here and let's try and fix all of this mess. Okay. This quality check station is, uh, is going... There's no cars in it at the moment. That's what I wanted to check earlier. Okay, fantastic. Uh, the export station is now going to slow things down the most, but even that is is still pretty nippy, still pretty fast. So I'm not gonna not gonna worry too much about that delaying us. In fact, that seems to have been a pretty decent way to go about doing things. Everything at the moment is going to pass through the uh, through the the defect station, so if there is a defect, hopefully it's going to get fixed, or it might just not. You know, it, 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 we might just do this whole setup for absolutely nothing if uh, if it's not going to get fixed. Can't connect a stockpile. I should probably look at fixing that. There we go. Fix a defect. Great. Right. Even if we fix half the defects, I guess that kind of makes this whole process worthwhile I guess at least you know at least maybe we should like offer a warranty or something I mean we obviously cannot be we cannot be positive we absolutely cannot be positive that uh, that we fixed all of the defects but you know we fixed at least one in fact sometimes not even that we fixed at least 
Well, we've at least thought about fixing it, right? Right, default fixed chance plus 10%. I'm going to I'm going to add that to the queue. It's not a super uh, high priority, but we'll put it we'll put it in in second place. Great. What was the other thing that I was going to do? I was going to Oh yes, I was going to actually make another car. Right. So the compact, it's going to be a luxury compact car. We need to get some more features as well. I feel like our our feature suite is uh, lacking at the moment. Right, power steering and a sunroof. A sunroof is universal, apparently. A solid roof is just common. There you go. Uh, apparently, sunroofs are just that popular in compact cars. Right. I mean, this is. I mean, this is just a garbage little. What's the What's the Roman god of garbage? Roman god of garbage. I mean, I know it's not the the Roman god of garbage, but I mean, it is the. It's the Roman god of human garbage. If you're a big Julius Caesar fan, if you're a uh, a big Julius anti Caesar fan, uh, then this guy's a hero. So look, I'm expecting this car to have uh, a Marmite reception. Some people are gonna love it. Uh, other people are gonna hate it. I don't care. I for one, I I don't actually care. As long as people buy it, doesn't matter to me. Right, let's get the Brutus into production. Perfect. All right, eventually we want to get to a point where where we're about... What is it? Yeah, it's about one point... We make about one sale an hour. Between, between one and two sales an hour for all of our luxury cars. So what we really need to be hitting is... Yeah, about 1.74 cars an hour, I think, would be would be a pretty a pretty darned uh, happy medium. I could certainly rest easy with that. Okay, this is this is <laughs> this is insane. All of the cars are are now suddenly being sold. They all have keyless entry. Or they all don't have keyless entry. How much does this car actually cost? The sale price is zero. What? All right, so, I mean, we're just selling these cars for absolutely free then, I guess. Missing expected features, keyless entry. All right, so we just give away all of our cars for free. Uh, that seems uh, not good. There we go, okay. That seems a lot more reasonable. Uh, rather than giving away free cars. Car likes universal features. Maybe a 10% discount instead? Maybe let's not, uh, discount it till it's free? That's just bad business, really? I mean, we must have given away about a million pounds worth of stock there at full price. I mean, it, it's not actually worth that at all. However, I still feel a little bit salty about it. I mean, our finances were in a great place, and now, now they're not. How is this car getting through with no wheels? Oh. It's got wheels. It's only not got wheels from one angle. Well, there you go. The phantom wheels. Orbital potato in the case of the phantom wheels. All right, this is this is a really poor show. I don't even think that there's anything that we can do about this. Yeah, I think that because there's no there's no stockpile that I can put even reasonably close. I mean, we could get a mini stockpile. I don't even know where mini stockpiles are. I barely ever use them. Yeah, there we go. Let's research a mini stockpile with the expectation to stick in a, a mini stockpile over here or whatever. I almost never use mini stockpiles. But I guess there's a time and a place for everything, right? And I suppose on the map, which is literally... Uh, called tight fit or whatever. Uh, that's, that's probably a pretty darn good time. All right, so we've bled about three hundred thousand dollars in cash since that uh, that cash high that we hit, uh, whatever it was, about ten, fifteen, twenty minutes ago. So I'm a little bit disappointed in that. But otherwise, I think that we can, I mean, legitimately say that this has been one of the most successful business uh, ventures that I mean we've ever been on. This is this is fantastic, un unbelievable. Whoever is working at this station needs to get some training, some training, and probably to join a union, because 
Bad stuff is about to happen. Uh, anyway, I think that that's probably a pretty darn good place to, to wrap things up, given our uh, given our uh, mediocre financial situation, given the uh, the issues that we're now facing. Uh, production efficiency is improving. Slowly but surely, it's trending upwards, and we're going to continue that trend, hopefully, in the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Open Potato. I'll see you next time. Bye.